My name is DJ Rang. I primarily work on high-end multicultural weddings and corporate events. And one of the big common factors with all these events is that the crowd sizes are big, typically in like the two to 500 person range. So compared to your typical wedding, it's, it's much larger. Um, with that comes larger room sizes. And I've been doing like probably a decade worth of shows on standard powered setup, whether it's plastic 12 inch over a wooden 18 inch sub, you know, two aside, or, you know, a dual 15 over an 18 inch sub. I didn't realize the full magnitude of, of the Danley difference until I actually had it at my first event. So with some of these rooms, you know, you got, let's say 350 people, 400 people in a room. Um, some of my crowds get a bad rap for not listening. And you gotta make an announcement five, six, seven times. That'll be something as small as like, folks, take your seats, we're about to start. I didn't realize that it wasn't really that they don't listen. It has nothing to do with that. It's that they can't hear. The first time I set up my Danley rig at one of these receptions, I had to make one single announcement, just one time. Ladies and gentlemen, before I could even finish, would you please be seated? Collectively, everybody sits down. And it clicked for me then. I was like, okay, yeah. You know, because obviously like the heavy bass aside, like it sounds really good, like playback music through it. But sitting in the front of the room right by a speaker or sitting in the back of the room, that was the main difference is, can you hear what's going on? Because at a wedding, you have a lot of uh, very special moments that if you miss it, you miss it. You can't like, can't redo it. You can't ask somebody to get up there and give that speech again. A lot of the stuff comes from the heart. People are like just speaking without a script. So if everyone in the room can't hear what's going on, you've kind of lost the magic of that moment. You'll get like the younger crowd being like, dude, that was awesome. But also during dinner, the bride or groom's grandpa might come up and be like, hey, thank you for not playing it super loud today. And we might have been, you know, playing it at a decent clip, but it doesn't, it doesn't have that like harsh, shrill sound of it to when you have a system that's being overworked, where you're at the top of your headroom, or maybe you're pushing it beyond what it really needs to be played at. Um, so I started noticing like two completely different demographics for appreciating the sound system for two completely different reasons. And it was like every single event I did, you realize more and more of these positive points. There's not a single part of the old system that I had that I would even consider lining up to this setup right now.